Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Your girl Chi, welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you for tuning in. Now, I know it's been a minute since I've actually come over here and sit down and really just came and gave y'all a review. If y'all haven't seen my community page, your girl was out with food poisoning. I was out. When I tell you I was out for the count, y'all, I literally couldn't keep nothing down. It was coming out of every, you know, it was just a lot, okay? I was, it just, I was up and wouldn't get no sleep. I was drained, dehydrated, all of it. So I couldn't really come and give y'all you know, just the best of me, you know, what I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't get, get couldn't give y'all what you came to see is what I'm trying to say. But nonetheless, I do feel like it today. I'm a little more energy energized. Um, and we're going to sit here and talk about love and marriage DC. You guys love and marriage DC. I didn't get a chance, like I said, to review last week. So we're going to talk about this. We can get into a couple of things and a couple of undertow things I've been kind of noticing with love and marriage DC. Um, and we just gonna go from there, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I got my, I got my eye on you quick. Yo, Polo, stay the fuck out the way, okay? I'm in the middle of something here. Um, yeah, y'all, quick. I see you quick. That's all I'm gonna say for right now. We're gonna get into the review, but I see you. I see you, okay? Um, but y'all, hey, faux locks, how y'all liking them? Aren't they cute? Um, I want to do something for Black History Month. I was like, you know what? Let's go all the way back, you know, to, to the to the ancestors with the locks, okay? Um, then also I want to just do homage because your girl is uh, you know, got Jamaican in her bloodline. My mom's Jamaican, so um, you know, I just had to, you know, go to the islands. Bro, what is how you just gonna sit in my lap like that in the middle of the video? I've got something to do, okay? Polo. Okay, you're gonna have to move back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, like I was saying, love and marriage DC. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new to my channel, appreciate you for tuning in. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, drop it down in the comments, let me know that you stopped by and tell me how you feel about the love and marriage DC um franchise overall, okay? So we open up this episode picking up where we left off, which is Sherelle, big, big old booty ass. She going after um Arena, and Arena's like, your husband's shady. You know, that's what he is. Like, I can't help it, basically. And Arena goes, that's why nobody like you. And Sherelle hit her with the, Arena, I don't give a who like me. I say, yo, this turned into goddamn love and hip hop real fast. This is not what we gonna do here on Oprah's Network. This is not what we're supposed to do over here on Oprah's Network. Yo, we get, like, I feel like Sherelle definitely wanted to make a moment for TV. And it's like, I don't want you new girls to come on TV feeling like you have to create a moment. Like, let the moment happen. I think a lot of people feel like you have to force these, like, you know, big TV moments. And honestly, sometimes the smallest things really be the most impactful, like, on TV. So it's like... Don't feel like as a new girl, like you have to come on and make a splash. Like don't force it is what I'm saying. So I kind of a little bit felt like the scene like kind of was forced by Sherelle. Um, like, yeah, go up to Arena and talk to her, but it didn't have to turn into like this. But y'all don't know in the comments. How do you feel about that moment uh, with Sherelle and Arena? Ashley's feeling like, girl, Arena, you should have stayed out of it anyways. Joy's over there like... And Joy, this is your problem. So it was like, girl, you started the shit. So, um, Arena, they asked her in the confessional, uh, who doesn't like, who doesn't like Shirella or something like, is it Shirella or Shirella? Because I keep hearing uh, Ashley say both. Um, but Arena was like, they asked her like, oh, how do you know people don't like her or who doesn't like her? And so she was like, mm, next question. So it was like, oh, hell, who? Who she been around for Sherelle to like, you know, for people to be talking about Sherelle like they don't like her. Um, but yeah, so Arena's over there talking to Ashley and Ashley's like, girl, you was doing too much. Like, it's really none of your business. Why are you sticking your nose in it? You know, like you, you calling him shady, you know, was like kind of like unnecessary essentially like you're talking for joy and so Sherelle she came walking up and it looked like she was walking up on a mission so Ashley kind of like jumped to the side between Arena she was like no I'm not fighting but she was like Arena you were doing too much and Arena was like I, I was doing too much like basically I guess Arena decided she was gonna backpedal to pop uh and understanding like you know what 
I playing a broken telephone is not the way to go. Like if you're going to play telephone, like at least relay the information like verbatim that way you as the person who is the messenger can say like I didn't you know that's not my words you know like verbatim I can say I'm not being messy because I know I said it exactly the way that she said it um but yeah no so that was the end of that scene um so we get to uh actually Ashley and Quick the like at lunch the next day talking about you know, what happened at, you know, it used to be shady side, didn't turn the quick silver way. But nonetheless, she was congratulating her man, feeling like Miss Michelle Obama. She had her little moment and whatnot, you know, the silvers, you know, feeling real, you know, presidential and whatnot, real congeniality based, you know. Um, but, you know, they started talking about the situation and Ashley's like, you know, I'm really kind of upset at Arena. Like she really should have left it alone. You know, um, um, uh, quick time all Raina turned into Ray Ray. Uh, um, and then they started getting to Ashley wanting to talk to Winter and quick was kind of surprised. Like, Oh, like for real. And she was like, yeah, you know, like I'm just kind of sick of having the drama. All the ladies are beefing with each other and you know, it's just starting to like be too much. And so, um, um, uh, Ashley was basically like, okay, I'm gonna go call everybody together. And Quick was like, well, you know, um, this is where I'm starting to look at Quick. I'm looking at him with an eyebrow raise. Like, I'm not even gonna lie because now Quick is like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna call the husbands together and, you know, we're gonna have, you know, I feel like we, all the husbands need to get together to see, like, if there's anything we could do, you know, to help with the wives because, you know, every time y'all get together, it's always a problem. You know, I don't know what's going on with the women right now. So maybe the husbands, you know, we could talk to figure out, figure out how we can intervene. And it's kind of like, I'm just feeling really like, ugh, about Quick. Like, I'm just getting real big performance base from Quick this season. And, like, I just see through it. Like, I really see through it. Like, he's trying to give real macho, man. He's trying to give, you know, I'm the head in charge, you know. And you're not, Quick. Like, you're not. <laughs> just at the end of the day, like, you're not. <laughs> um, So, and for him to feel like the men need to intervene on the women like like we don't like they don't need your help like you're only gonna make it even more messy trying to intervene in women's business you know like y'all the men need to be separate men talk about men sh and then like women handle they shit like i just didn't like how it came across like he was feeling like the men needed to corral the ladies um child all right y'all i'm back having to deal y'all would know y'all know y'all know naomi gonna bust in but nonetheless we're back i was ending on basically quick calling this man meeting feeling like he need to corral the women the men need to intervene i just ain't like that point blank period so moving on um uh what happened after that we see damn what did happen after that let me try to remember the episode so we have that sherelle Oh, birthday. Arena has the birthday for her mom. Uh, they're doing like a Western theme because she said she remembered her mom growing up, you know, always talking about horses and stuff like that. So they have the Western theme. Everybody's dressed up. My mama comes down with a little bearded dragon named Mushu. Um, <laughs> uh, named Mushu, which is super cute. Makes me think of uh, Mulan. Um, definitely one of the favorite uh, Disney movies, but nonetheless, all the ladies are there and they start talking about Joy's wedding. When's that going to happen? Baby making. Y'all know the usual when woman gets around, it's either about a man, a wedding, or a baby. Them three topics, a man, a wedding, or a baby. Them three topics, point blank period. And so Joy is just feeling like do, 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 do all these questions coming in and finally, you know, luckily Mama T, she was able to, you know, get the, the subject changed because they started talking about baby making and Arena was like, yeah, you know, um, you know, Jamie be complaining and uh, she told her mama basically like Jamie blames her for why he don't get none, you know, because, you know, she be right down the hallway and he's like, oh, she go here. And so the mom was like, uh-uh, don't put that on me. So she pulled Jamie and was like, I heard you, like, you try to blame me, basically, for why you ain't getting none. 
And Jamie's like, oh, I'm like, you've been here for five years. And he's like, no, the real person. He says, really, you're Raina. And Raina always hit him with the, no, I'm tired. Yeah, Jamie, she tired. Because you ain't warming up the, the apple pie. You basically want to get the, the pie from the bakery store and, and eat it. Like, you want to throw it in the microwave. Women are not microwaves, okay? We're not like dudes where all you got to do is blow on the tip of their dick and it gets hard. No. And I'm sure you ain't done shit for a rain to feel like, you know, she want to give you some anyways. You don't do laundry. You don't wash dishes. You don't sweep the floor. All these things that make women, you know, get hot and bothered for the nuka, okay? And you don't do none of those things. Point blank, period. You don't do a thing that makes a rain on when a hop on the dick and do a full split. Like, period. So, yeah, when you come in the room and you want to tap her on the shoulder, like, literally, didn't y'all have this issue last season where she said all he want to do was roll over and pump, pump, pump? Like, uh, uh. Arena, you need to get you a boyfriend. Like, period. Get you a boyfriend. Boyfriend number two. <laughs> get you a remix. Because originally the song is girlfriend number two. Arena, you need boyfriend number two. And get make make, make Jamie the side nigga again. That's what you make Jamie the side nigga again. Because it's just what it is, Jamie. Like, you're not, you're not. Mm -mm. It's not it, homeboy. Point blank, period. Like, Arena's tired of having to fake it. Like, she's tired of having to fake it. She's not interested. You don't get her hot and bothered. It's just what it is. So, the ladies go outside. They ride the horse. And then they all go up there to, to basically talk about what's been going on. And, you know, Arena asks Ashley, like, okay, it's quick. Okay, you know, from the last time what happened at, uh, at you know, Quick Civil Way or whatever. Like, is he all right? And Ashley's like, yeah, you know, he's good. Uh, you know, he's not mad. He understands the point. You know, Arena's just like, uh, Ashley's like, girl, you just need to learn how to walk away because you got Sherelle, you know, <laughs> lying back of ass coming forward. And then you, like, it's, <laughs> yo, like, it's a problem, okay? And so Arena was like, yeah, you know, I was just saying, you know, because, like, Shady, I'm just telling you what Joy said, you know. With that description, you know, Shady is what it is, is it not? And it might be. Shady might be the perfect word. But it ain't your business. And so Joy, because uh, Ashley was like, Joy, you was over there standing there like ain't saying nothing. And Joy basically was like, well, you know, the minute Arena says Shady and, uh, and she started giving off the definition, Sherelle wouldn't have heard me anyways, which is true, like, you could always tell when somebody has basically like checked out and no matter what you tell them, like it's not going to register to them because they're just in an emotional state where like they're unable to hear what you're saying. And Sherelle was that. So yeah, Joy was right, but it still needed to be addressed. So um, nonetheless, Arena, uh, Joy tells Arena like, girl, I got it. You don't have to say nothing. Don't feel like you have to put anything on anything because, you know, it's just going to take me talking to, to, to Joy about it. Because at the end of the day, whether she knows it or not, what she was involved in is a little funky, period. Um, so what do we move on to after that? Um, the guys. So, so quick calls this meeting you know he wants to be big man on campus he so he calls himself getting the guys together um and they're at the batting cage and oh no 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 before that arena y'all arena's doing her wig party it's like arena elegant something El arena elegant something um she's doing the wig launch and uh joy comes you know joy I love you, sis. Loving the hair. But what the fuck was that yellow and that camo? That was a terrible combination. That was a terrible combination. Um, also, it's good to see Arena is, like, doing something. Like, we see she has, obviously, things going on for herself. You know, has a business. You know, with the wig line. I've never seen people in the comments talking about, oh, my God, Arena's wigs. Like, that's just me. But, hey. If around, you know, the DMV, they talking about, ooh, Arena Wigs is on point, then bitch, get your coin. Like, I 
am not here. This is what you're supposed to do when you get exposure. Figure out a way to, to get you a mean coin while you know the iron is hot. <laughs> um, so yeah, Joy comes and basically they try on wigs and of course it starts to talking about the wedding and they have like a sentimental moment, or like a vulnerable moment, which I love this moment for Joy. Like, you know, because we've only seen Joy kind of in a like, um, like a combative state or a just like nonchalant state. So to see her vulnerable like this was, you know, uh, like heart like a heartfelt moment basically you know of course they get to talking about the wedding and you know she's like you know clifton what's his big thing and i pretty much told him like i'm good without it and ray's like we can do what me and you know me and jamie did you know we went to the justice of the peace basically which don't surprise me jamie definitely looked like a, a courthouse nigga um but um you know she was like you know what really it is is just like when i think about my wedding it's really about, I'm thinking about like what stops me, makes me hesitant is thinking, understanding that my dad's not going to be there, you know, and that's got to be a, like a really harsh reality. Like that, you know, as every girl, when you do think about a wedding, like the father daughter dance and what getting walked down the aisle is such a huge thing. I remember when I used to think about like me getting married, I always had like this, uh, unfortunate debate in my head of like, oh, my stepdad and my biological dad, like, cause my stepdad raised me. And, you know, my, I'm still cool with my biological father. So who am I going to do the father-daughter dance with? Like, I used to be stressed the fuck out thinking about that. But now, marriage, ee, the way y'all making it look, uh, I think I might be good. I can hold off on that. Like, so I can let go of that stress. <laughs> um, Because, yeah, it ain't looking like it's the way. It's not looking like it's the glory of the kingdom these days. Um, But nonetheless uh you know rain and joy hugged and it was like a cute little moment but moving on to back to the guys um so yeah clifton uh clifton uh and quick and jamie they in there and y'all know y'all know quick he gotta oh i know i'm better than jamie okay with his little oompa loompa ass you know first of all quick you clearly unhealthy you I'm sorry, like, it's not even dad by, like, you're giving real bush, like, real bush beer belly, like, that's what it's giving, like, you live an unhealthy lifestyle, and you refuse to fix it, um, he kind of wants to pull this, like, he's, it's like, I, I gotta be the, I'm the man in charge of the guys, like, so, uh, Clifton, he stiff ass, he, you know, you can tell he was a football dude, Jamie, he played baseball, you know, college, all that type of stuff like that. So, you know, that's on him. But they start talking about black coming. Clifton's like, who? And ah, this is the one time I agree with Quick or was like, Clifton, man, quick happen, bro. Like, you know who it is. Like, you know who the black is. So let's let's stop the let's stop it, okay? Let's not make it something that it's not like you ain't gotta be for black, so like cut it the fuck out. Um, so Black finally shows up, you know, him and Clifton kind of give the weird, you know, dap or whatever. And so here's where, like I said, once again, I'm looking at quick, you know, well, here we go with the bull. You know, I called this, you know, I called this meeting with the men today. Like he, it's like, he had to reiterate like, oh yeah, that's why I got the guys together. Like he's, watch, watch it back. Like in that moment, he was like, yeah, you know, I... You know, I called the guys together today. You know, he's trying to put that out there like he's the one just really, you know, corralling everybody and I'm the man in charge type shit. And it's just like, quick. Like, I, I know. I understand. Napoleon complex. It, it's It's got to be tough. Um, but it's just very performance-based. Like, I look at quick and I just get facade i just get phony just like jamie phony um but quick has just been better at hiding his shit than jamie because jamie got anger issues that's literally the only difference um uh so he basically talked about how you know oh you know black you know you know i want to call you here today because like hold on this like it was like this literally how it went this was this is what it was giving it was giving real
Bada bing, bada boom. This is why I called you here today. You know, I called you here today for the meeting of the minds. Like, it was just giving real, he was trying to be Godfather. I did not like it. Oh, I need the guys here today so we can really figure out what the issues are. You know, we got so much going on in between us. You know, Black, obviously, at my event, you know, uh, the situation with, with Sherelle and Arena really got things messy. Um, you know, do you even know what it's about? So now, Black, we finally get Black's perspective on, you know, what the issue is. And, you know, he's explaining somewhat similar to how Joy explained, which was, Okay, we were in this group mambo sauce, but, you know, after a while, we broke up. Like, he said he left, and before he left, uh, he kind of got put in the managerial role, which was not what he really wanted, but because he was the quote-unquote leader of the group, like, that's what he took. So, two more members, they ended up finding when he left, and actually went on tour with, and kind of, you know, created, you know, a little buzz. Well, him and the manager, I guess, or he wanted to come back and wanted to bring back the manager. So I guess he wasn't in that role anymore. And was like, it's either both of us or none of us type shit. And basically it was like, bye. <laughs> bye. I guess that's what the energy was. So Clifton also, I didn't like what you was doing in this scene either with the I mean, are you sure you you don't know what the issue is? Like, are you sure? Like, you know, I, I mean, why are you acting like you don't know? And it's like, Clifton, shut your ass up before we get to talking shit about you. Like, <laughs> like Clifton, bro, like, back off. Like, I get it. Joy's your woman and everything. But you, I get you want to take her word and stuff like that. But it was just too much energy. And then I don't like, once again, quick trying to like, oh, you know, we have fellas, we need to get this together because, you know, all that bad energy is infiltrating our group, you know, as men. You know, it's getting real chick. It, you know, we sound like a bunch of chicks, bro. And I'm like, I didn't like that. Like, I just, Quick is really pissing me off, y'all. I don't know what it is about Quick, but my discernment is just rattling about him right now this season. Um, uh, so... Yeah, the way he was making it sound, oh, yeah, you know, the chicks, like, now we sound like a bunch of chicks. And, you know, Black's like, yeah, you know, I don't want no chatty patty type stuff, you know. And, uh, yeah, I know it sound like that. And it was like, what, like, I just, ugh. Like, do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, watch that scene back. Like, you'll see how quick it's, like, really trying to make a difference in, like, men and women. And, like, we got to be the one to handle it. And it's like, nigga, you ain't really even handling your own household, so you really can shut the fuck up. Like, if you really want to be real, Ashley's the one who run your household. Like, when the last time you really set your ass at home and took care of your kids? Like, if we really want to be for real, for real quick. Like, if we really went down in there with the type of dad that you really was, which is why this season you acting the way you acted, because you see how Jamie is looking. So you know, oh, he behind closed doors, his shit ain't looking clean. Let me start sweeping up mine. Because that's what you do in this season. Don't think that we don't see it quick. Don't think that we don't see it. Because <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to call this shit out. Like, y'all, am I lying or not? Nah? Drop down in the comments. Am I lying or not? Nah? I stand on that. Point blank, period. But let me let me get off of that because, okay, because I'll go on and rant. Uh, I'm just sick of you niggas, like, trying to, like, give off this facade. And, like, y'all really... Don't even be taking care of y'all households, like, really doing the the work that y'all supposed to be doing as men. Like, I just, I, that's the conversation I really, you know what? I'm gonna do a video talking about what I really want to see on TV. Because what I really want to see on TV right now is a reality TV with men. You know, I think it's time that we switch over from women to men on reality TV. And let's start following men around to see how they act. Because all the time we're hearing about how men don't get to see, you know, examples of this and that. But, like... Or we don't have, we don't have, you know, men on TV. And it's because the truth is y'all really don't want to see what y'all look like. Like y'all really don't really, really want to see how y'all really are. That's just for what for real. Because then we have to dig into the type of men y'all are. And y'all really want to think y'all good men out here. But are you really? 
So, but nonetheless, like, that's just my idea, y'all. I kind of want to talk about that. So, maybe I'll do a video. But let me stop ranting. Um, get done with this video. Um, so, yeah. They, all the men, they basically agree, like, some shit needs to get done between, between Black and Joy. Um, Arena, she sits down with Winter and uh they basically are going back and forth well you're defensive no you're defensive or you think you're important no you think you're important like honestly the bitches are literally the way they were going back and forth like it literally was like y'all actually quite the same if y'all would just put the guard down like y'all realize like how much y'all kind of are like it, winter does her nasty just a little bit different than ashley's but they're very similar. Like, Winter does the church lady, like, because she did the smile, like, at, at, uh, at Ashley, like, like, she would do the smile every now and again, like, really, like, you're the one who thinks you're important. <laughs> like, like, Winter does the smile, and then uh, Ashley just straight up gives her, like, the, our oh, this is what we're doing, like, she just kind of gives, like, the resting bitch face. Like, they do their nasty just a little bit different, but they're very similar. Nonetheless, they basically are like, look, what is the, what, what's the conclusion? Because we could go back and forth all day, like, what's the conclusion? And that Ashley basically tells her, I want to want all the girls to meet up because I'm tired of the nah, 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 nah. And, you know, let's just get this under wraps. Um, so they all meet up at the end. Ashley, I guess it's like kind of like a bar. And I felt like this was like a cute, like little thing to do. Like I like mixing drinks, mixology, all that type of stuff like that. Like it was kind of a cute idea. Um, but Ashley, Alicia, is that her friend's name? Alicia, y'all, did y'all like her outfit? I'm kind of half and half, but more on the not side. Like the idea of it I liked, but y'all drove down the comments. Did y'all like Alicia's outfit? Um, but Arena, Ashley, Joy, and Alicia were all there first. Joy came in hella casual compared to the ladies. Joy's like, yeah, you know, I didn't know it was a dress code, but I came in sneakers in case I need to get a quick exit because really it's about me getting the fuck out of here, you know? And so I'm not mad at it. Like, I appreciate Joy for being who she is. Like, not every woman is a throw on heels type of woman. Like, we're, like we have yet to see, like, a woman like on TV be okay like being casual in comparison to other ladies and I kind of I'm not mad at it y'all like every now and again there's a sporty girl who's just not into the fucking heels like it just is what it is and I can appreciate that because that's how like I don't wear no heels on damn day like a nice sneaker a nice boot like you know a nice flat like I can I can mess with it so Nonetheless, Ashley was hella shady with the, oh, can you take a picture of us? Like, the important people are here. So, they took that picture, and Joy was kind of like, oh, shit, and, like, took the picture. So, they're waiting on Sherelle and Winter, which they come in after everybody does the drinks and stuff. Arena, I guess, Ashley didn't tell Arena that her and Winter somewhat ended well, because she was like, wait a minute, like... I know they went out, but I guess they, they dinner went good, better than I thought. So I guess Ashley left her out the, out the loop on that one, but <laughs> well, surprise. <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, so yeah, Shrill, ooh, that outfit, ooh, y'all, am I tripping? The wig, I'm like, mm. like, the wig was kind of like, mm. Uh, like I liked it. Like in my trip, y'all, I liked it. Um, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Did I like it? I I liked it. It was the outfit, y'all. It was the outfit for me. Am I tripping? <sighs> I don't want to run down through there with Sherelle, but you know they all sit down and Ashley basically was like, "Look, it's too much back and forth." What y'all think? Like, it's time to knock this shit out. So, if you feel like you got something to say, you know, hold your sign up and say, say that shit. And so, I can appreciate Ashley trying to, like, go with her theme. Uh, you know, trying to promote. Like, I'm not mad at it. Do I... Are we... Here's the question. Are we over the the themes trying to get the, the gathering together, Ponderosa type stuff? Like, are we over trying to make it, like... 
come with a theme. Like, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you know how some girls will, like, make games out of stuff. Like, trying to talk to people or try to, uh, you know, bring the girls together. Like, are we kind of over that? Or, like, do we prefer that? Y'all drop down in the comments. Like, because at least it makes it not just a straightforward conversation. So, I can kind of get that. Like, at least it's not just... Oh, straight flight at least gives it a little something something so I can see how like we keep that around but y'all draw in the comments let me know but Arena she got the shit started she wanted to know why is winter here <laughs> why is winter here and that's where the episode ended so um, I apologize if this you know went on a little bit long I ain't gonna lie after I took that you know I took a puff of that pen it just sometimes I get to I get to I get to get to rambling you know just be what it be um but i hope y'all stay through y'all let me know what um what y'all think about the uh episode tell me what you feel like about next week look like jamie about to, they about to get in jamie's ass again oh I'm like jamie bro get yourself together <laughs> people are tired of getting in your ass bro <laughs> um so yeah y'all follow my instagram and twitter and i'll catch you guys later bye